Do you suppose learning to know the Holy Ghost will expand your Holy scope Ghost of living your God way day. beyond what your little mind has thought Holy in the past? Ghost your God this is going to be good. Day. I hope that you're here. Holy Ghost, your God. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, the and you walk with him by saying words. Jesus, right. My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first Ghost time here, make God sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. This message will affect you. You have to listen, but if you can hear, something will change on you well i'm providing you with scope most people have none their religious view of everything gives them no scope they can't go anywhere with it if your religious belief and your religion has started you out with the prospect of dying and going to heaven and that's that's the goal dying and go to heaven you have no scope for life or living mm -hmm. being alive well we happen to know that the Holy Ghost is God and he's a living God and he's in the earth today what would a living God be doing in the earth but living and if we're walking with him we're gonna know how to live a lot better than other people who have no scope for living right. do you suppose learning to know the Holy Ghost will expand your scope of living way beyond what your little mind has thought in the past mm -hmm. this is going to be good i hope that you're here first timothy chapter six charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but in the living god who gives us richly all things to enjoy is this in your Bible yes. what does your Bible say about the Living God what does he do if you trust in him or learn to trust in him or have faith in him he will give you richly all things to enjoy is this true yes. when when you die and go to heaven is that what it said no we hear that worship the holy ghost we know him that he is the living god you understand that right yes. that the holy ghost is the living god he's the one who came into the earth sent from the father and jesus in heaven came into the earth and he's in the earth today and he's alive he is the living god and he is here to give you richly all things to enjoy well we know and serve a living god now not when we die you won't know him when you die yes you'll know him when you die but now that's not the problem well the holy ghost is this living god say the holy ghost, the holy ghost is, is this living god, living god. and this living god is endeavoring to give you richly all things to enjoy isn't that what it says yes. well he is alive and he gives us richly what all things, all things. say all things. all things he's the living god he's alive and he gives us richly all things he gives us richly all things he gives us richly all things are you here yes. you'd think i was preaching some weird something i'm just quoting a verse right. by the way the living god he's the holy ghost he gives us richly all things don't you think it'd be good to know him then I'm taking you on a trip this morning that is going to affect you it's going to expand your scope of belief daniel chapter 7 verse 27 and the kingdom 
and dominion and the greatness say greatness, greatness and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high god who's the living god in the earth holy, holy ghost. ghost he gives us richly all things right yeah. here it says the kingdom and dominion and greatness of the kingdom where under the whole heaven where's under the whole heaven earth where you are shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high god sounds an awful lot like living god gives us richly all things living god gives me richly all things is kingdom dominion and greatness are they things yes. then they're part of the all things that the living god is going to give us richly are you here yes. well it will be given to the people of the saints that's what this says so the kingdom and the dominion and the greatness say the kingdom the, kingdom. the, dominion, the dominion and the greatness, the greatness shall be given to the people of the saints so he's going to be given to people yes. right yes. people of the saints well i have a call of god on my life i am a sent one with a message and i have a people where's this kingdom and dominion and greatness going to be given to it's going to be given to the people of the saints of the most high god i haven't gotten into that yet but you know who the holy ghost is right in the earth he looks around who's god in the earth holy ghost and i have a people that's growing daily the number of people growing day i'm telling you if you can hear it you can go here and something will get on you Amen. some don't like it this plain but most have never heard anything like it but I'm not sent for me I'm sent for you the people of the Saints the people that I'm sent for shall be shall be given my people mm -hmm. I'm believing this for you and I have the ability to believe for you now you don't have to follow me but I am set for you to experience this it will literally come on you and you will begin to experience it I'm set I'm the sent one to tell you this the people of the Saints shall be given isn't this fun aren't you glad you don't have to say this but I do have a people so deal with it and people who are listening to this and hear it they can hear it they can hear it it sounds differently well if it sounds different to you and it and it resonates then then you're part of those people say I'm part of those people that it shall be given to not about me I'm saying it because I have to say it but it's about you being given these things are you seeing this but I do have a people and they are growing by the day richer they're growing by the day more healed they're growing by the day younger they're growing by the day better looking and the kingdom and dominion and the greatness say the greatness the greatness, the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high god of the most high god not the somewhat high god or the kind of high god or he's a little bit high god he's the most high god get get that on your lips say he's the most, he's the most high god who is the Holy Ghost who is in the earth 
I know the people mint, you know, they wince when you start talking about the Holy Ghost being God because they're so they're comfortable with him being the small Holy Ghost in their little religious box. Well, the living God, the Holy Ghost, is the most high God in the earth. Wouldn't this be good to preach this? Wouldn't this be good to have as your message? The Holy Ghost is the living God. The Holy Ghost is the most high God and would it benefit you to worship him and serve him yes. there are benefits to knowing him benefits to worshiping him and benefits to serving him he's the most high God mm -hmm. Daniel chapter 11 verse 32 the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. It's the people that do know something. What do they know? They know their God. Who's the only God in the earth today? The Holy Ghost, the, Holy Ghost, the one Jesus sent. He's the living God. He's the most high God. If you know him as God, you'll worship him. But because you don't know him as God, you don't worship him. We, we don't worship him in our church. Then you don't know him as God. If you knew him as God, you'd worship him. He's God in the earth. He's the most high God. He's the living God. And there's benefits to knowing him, worshiping, and serving him. The people that do shall be strong and do exploits. What kind of exploits? His kind of exploits. Exploits that come from knowing the Most High God. <sighs> exploits of what, you say? I say exploits of what we read earlier, the kingdom and the dominion and the greatness. Greatness of exploits. Exploits of greatness. You being great. What happened? You exploited greatness. How'd you do it? knowing God I do know God and I exploit greatness mm -hmm. say that I do know God, I do know God. and I exploit, I exploit greatness be on your own you're not so great I mean we like you and all but with him we become great mm -hmm. because he's the most high mm -hmm. Joel chapter 2 well look at verse 1 blow ye the trumpet in Zion sound an alarm on my holy mountain let all the inhabitants uh, of the land tremble for the day of the Lord cometh it's nigh at hand meaning the day of the Lord's coming right 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 it's nigh at hand it's not yet it's nigh at hand coming up to the end see there's a lot of things coming up to the end that happen right before the end does that make sense yeah this is happening right before the end a day of darkness and of gloominess a day of clouds and thick darkness as the morning spread upon the mountains what a great people and a strong say a great people, a great people. And, a strong. and a strong remember the greatness we were talking about the people that we're talking about strong people because they know their God yes. a great people and a strong there hath not been ever the like there's never been anyone like them you can't preach like this nobody ever preaches like that nobody's ever gone yeah I know nobody's ever gone here because we're in the last days and we're gonna go here That's right. a great people and strong how do we get how do we get great how do we get strong by knowing the most high god mm -hmm. the greatness who strengthens us a great people and strong there's never been the like in this kind of strength in this kind of greatness why because they didn't know god this way there's none like them meaning they're different and I don't know but if you can hear it you know that this is different it's different 
i know it's different i preached all the other stuff but you have to be willing to go here you have to be willing to be different have you found this out so far if you start to know the holy ghost as god as the living god and if you know him as god you start worshiping him as god and you start to know him as the most high god in the earth that's different my friend it makes you different you think different you act different you talk different you are different there's never been anyone like you you see that's towards the end someone had to do something that made them different and not like everybody else great strong by knowing their god but you have to be willing to be changed that's why a lot of people back off they're not willing to be different they're not willing to go here they're not willing to be changed and change is the name of the game i tell you as we go on here if you're still with me if we're going on here this people shall know their god and be strong in the earth and do exploits what are you gonna do when nobody else wants to go with you I'm gonna be different good is the enemy of great and so many people are satisfied and put to sleep with good that they never get to great the greatness of the kingdom those people will be different who walk in the greatness of the kingdom for they've come to know the living God as God in the earth today and walk with him as the Most High in every area of life that's different that's greatness so are you willing to be changed that much most people would you'd have to say no I've seen it I'm willing to be changed I'm willing to be changed but not that much are you here I'll keep going well are you willing to be changed that much my people are people that are with me are they're willing to be changed all the way completely changed say completely changed. completely changed so what is this great source of change what is this source of greatness that these people have found that other people haven't what's this source of greatness it is knowing the living god knowing the holy ghost as god in the earth today and knowing him as the most high god right. how are you going to get there well first of all somebody has to preach it and if you know him as god you'll start worshiping as him as god and then you will be changed right. this changes you say this changes me this changes well, he's not changing right this changes you you are changed by seeing him seeing him I don't, yeah you're changed by seeing him the problem is you don't see him because you blinded yourself to seeing him message after message preachers will go up and they'll knock on the door and they'll start down this trail and as soon as they get up to almost seeing him for all the things that i just said they quickly flip the switch and they start talking about the father in heaven or jesus when he was on earth you know you've seen it i've seen it people that i love and appreciate they do it all the time it's like they come up to the door and they refuse to go through it well they can't know the living god the holy ghost the most high god in the earth the way that these people are going to this people my people second corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 now the lord is or you could I'll say it this way it helps out now the Lord God is mm -hmm. in the earth that spirit yes. in our day the Lord God in the earth is that spirit who's that spirit the Holy, the Holy Ghost now the Lord God is that spirit and where the Lord God the Spirit of the Lord is 
It's basically saying the same thing where the Spirit Lord is, there's liberty. What does that imply? That where the Spirit isn't Lord, there isn't this kind of liberty. Verse 18, but we all with open face beholding, say beholding, beholding. with open face, as in a glass, the glory of the Lord God, the Spirit, are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by that same Lord God, the Spirit. Beholding who? The Spirit. Beholding the Holy Ghost, beholding the living God, beholding the Most High God, but nobody talks about Him. How are you going to behold Him? You can't. Now the Lord is. You can't go from glory to glory without seeing Him. Seeing Him for who He is. How do we go from glory to glory? By beholding Him. And seeing him him who the Lord that is that spirit the Lord God that is that spirit the Holy Ghost seeing him seeing him seeing him him who the Holy Ghost the Living God the Most High God so he's we see him let's just assume you got something out of what I just said you see him the Holy Ghost right you see him you see him as the living god you see him as the most high god you begin to see him you understand they know their god by seeing him i'm knowing who he is right and i see and i know that he's the most high god meaning he's he's higher than where i'm at right and then it says i'm changed by beholding him so I'm changed from not so high mm -hmm. to higher by beholding him by knowing him so I go from one level of glory to the next level of glory why because he's on the next level of glory mm -hmm. just makes sense mm -hmm. we're changed into the same image that we see of him from glory to glory you go higher when you see him as the most high God can you hear this you go higher when you see him as the most high God you get smarter you get brighter when you see him you get richer you get younger you get better looking when you see him he's the most high how good looking is the most high he's the most good-looking do you understand that's what the high means it means that he's the highest standard of what could be how rich do you get when you behold the most high certainly richer mm -hmm. but what happens to you when you start to see into him you realize it's infinite in its scope I suppose there may be a, a limit to how good looking you can get <laughs> but I think you understand we could all use a little more help there listen the Holy Ghost says to you I want you up here with me now that doesn't mean up in heaven he wants you up here with him you're here he wants you up here you're sort of high he wants you higher are you getting this yes. i want you up here with me he's the most high above only i'm going to start saying some things that may that you heard before above only and not beneath who's above only and not beneath head and not the tail he wants you there listen he wants you there with him head and not the tail above only not beneath healed not sick where's he he's the most high healed he's the most healed wealthy and not poor 
over all things and not under he wants you up here with him are you seeing this yes. he says this is my character and my image is this you hear people talk about all oh, my image you ruined my image well the church has ruined the Holy Ghost's image I'm telling you what his image is is he a poor God is he a sick God is he an old decrepit God you look at him looking at his image what are you changed into his image from glory to glory are you getting this yes. this is my character my image is this and these are my people these are my people I run with rich people mm -hmm. I run with healed people I run with youth renewed people is this you only you can answer that but he said yes the Holy Ghost said yes the Holy Ghost said yes I asked you a question is this you are you this people the Holy Ghost said yes let's look at that second Corinthians second Corinthians chapter 1 verse 20 for all of the promises of God in him are yes unto the glory of God mm -hmm. by us so that fulfilled promise in you is a glory unto God by us by you you're going up in glory say I'm going up in glory, going up in glory. and I don't mean I'm going up in glory I mean I'm going up in glory I'm going up another level by seeing him who said yes, yes. you fulfilling a promise is you walking in the kingdom his glory on you say his glory on me glory on see you're beholding him and his glory gets on you after his fashion he's quite fashionable you know yep. who's the most high fashion Holy Ghost say the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. is the most high, the most high fashion. fashion after his fashion what's his fashion I wear the fashion of God say that I wear, I wear the, fashion the fashion of God what's his fashion his fashion is healing his fashion is wealth his fashion is youth renew healing is fashionable you wear it youth renewal is fashionable you wear it being rich is fashionable you wear it fashionable unto God it's his fashion you take after him by beholding him the most high and there is no end to it Holy Ghost I pray for this people I thank you that this message got on them and has strengthened them and changed them and there is no end as they continue up on this climb looking like you acting like you behaving like you and becoming this great people that you've called and ordained to be in this last day and we shall end up owning it all and pleasing you in Jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. you are the Most High God you're the living God and you know how to live you know how to take me from where I am financially to a higher place and even to the most high place we thank you that you're doing it now in Jesus name amen the father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand your God in the earth to 